Hey everyone, it's Mandy from Designs by Miss Mandy, and today I'm excited to show you how to make mandala patterns. This is something that I've been really excited to learn about, and I'm so excited to share my knowledge with you. I love how intricate mandala patterns are, and how cool they look, and I can't wait to show you how to make them. So this tutorial has a few more steps than most of my tutorials do, but it's not necessarily that difficult, so hopefully you'll be able to follow along and make something awesome with me. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is use our polygon tool to make a 12-sided polygon on our artboard. You can do that by, um, once you've selected the polygon tool, just clicking on your artboard, and then in the menu, just click on 12 for the number of sides, and then click OK. Um, you can adjust your polygon by using your black arrow tool to size it the way you want and holding shift and option to keep it the same. Uh, once you have it the way you want, we're going to use our line segment tool to connect all the opposite points. So, I'm just gonna keep going around like so. And connecting them. All right, easy peasy. Okay. Now, you're going to use your arrow tool and select, just drag and select everything. Then you're going to go to Pathfinder. If you don't have it, you can go to Window, and then click on Pathfinder. And then you're going to click on this little button in the lower left-hand corner called Divide. And it looks like it did nothing, but it really did. If you look in your Layers panel now, it has grouped all these together and separated these all into little wedges. So we're going to make a copy of this shape and uh, by clicking Command C um, and then paste in front Command F and or by going to Edit and then Copy and then Paste in front, whatever you prefer. And then we're going to hide the back layer for now and we're going to use that for reference later. Okay, so now that I have all of my wedges separated, I want to, they're all in a group right now and I want to ungroup them. And you can do that by going to Object and selecting Ungroup or Shift-Command-G. Alright, so now as you can see, all of my wedges have been separated. And I'm going to select all of them except for my top one and delete them. And we're going to be using this wedge um, as a reference to create our pattern. So now what we're going to do is add a guide right down the center. Um, and you can do that by just pulling guides from your ruler. Um, if you don't have your ruler, you can just hit Command R for it to show up. And we're just going to add a guide right here in the middle. And I actually like to put my guides on a separate layer um, just to make it a little bit easier. It's just kind of a habit of mine. So now I can lock it and hide my guides easier. And I'm also going to be locking this triangle just so I don't mess it up while I'm doing my pattern. So here comes the fun part. We're going to use our pen tool to create whatever pattern suits our fancy. And I'm just using um, a stroke right here and actually I need to get rid of this. I just want to be using a stroke. And you can edit the way your stroke looks over here in your stroke panel. Uh, make it thicker, change it to a round end cap, which works better for these kinds of patterns. And um, yeah, just add lines in whatever way suits your fancy. Once you have what you'd like, you just select everything and then copy and paste in front again, Command C, Command F. And then you're going to go to Transform by right-clicking, going to Transform, and then hit Reflect. And in your Reflect panel, we want to make sure Vertical is selected, and you can preview it to see how it's going to look. Hit OK, and then use your guide as reference so that you can put that perfectly symmetrical. So now we have a pattern, and this is obviously an extremely simple one that I just threw together in one second. Um, but once you have everything Selected, you can hit Group by Command G um, or going to Object and then hitting Group. And that'll just make it easier when you move it around or if you need to do anything with it like that. So 
Um, as cool as this pattern is, which it totally is, I'm just going to get rid of it. <laughs> and I actually created a slightly more intricate pattern earlier. Um, but I'm not going to force you guys to watch me create it. So anyway, okay, I have that over here, but as you can see, I accidentally left the white layer on right here. I don't really want that. Okay, sorry. All right, so now that I have my triangle and my pattern here, um, I am just, I'm going to hide my guide right now. And um, I'm going to unlock my triangle. And I'm just going to get rid of the stroke now. I don't need it anymore. It was just kind of for reference. Um, but I do need the triangle itself. So now I'm going to select both my pattern and my triangle wedge. And I'm going to group these together. And now we're going to make these into a symbol. And what you're gonna, how you're going to do that is by going to your symbols panel. Once again, if you don't have it in your toolbar, you can go to window and then click symbols. And once it's selected, you can just hit this little button right here to say new symbol. And you can name it something and export type. We're going to choose graphic and then hit OK. And once again, it doesn't look like it did very much, but it did, I promise. And you'll see that later. Now we're going to use, we're going to unhide our uh, pattern here or our 12 sided polygon. I'm going to lock it, but we're just going to use this for reference as we're duplicating this. Okay, so now that we have our symbol created, we're going to copy it, Command C, paste in the front, Command F, and I'm going to turn it all the way around and drag it here. Okay, and then we just need to put this pattern, this symbol, actually, in each one of these wedges. All right, once I have these four done, I can copy it again, paste in front, and then go to transform, rotate. We're going to rotate it 30 degrees. Click OK. And it looks perfect. Do it again. Well, I need to copy and paste in front, and then do it again. Rotate 30 degrees. OK. All right, and now we can hide that group that we had as reference, and you can see your beautiful pattern. And so why did we make it a symbol, you might ask? Um, so now, say I didn't like a little piece of this pattern. If this were all just normal lines, um, I'd have to go in and edit each one of these, which would be a big pain in the butt. But since we just made these into symbols, all I have to do is double click on one of them, and I guess I want to edit it. Okay. And I just need to edit one piece. And if I were to do that and then get out of my symbol editor, it would change everything around the whole pattern. So that is the awesome thing about symbols. So there you have it. Now you know how to make beautiful mandala patterns. And what I love about this is kind of the big reveal at the end once you've um, kind of created this pattern. You don't quite know exactly how it's going to turn out until you get all 12 pieces in place, but it's pretty awesome when you do. So yeah, there you have it, and I hope you were able to follow along, and I hope you like what you saw. Have a good time!